Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to develop PWA food delivery system and WhatsApp menu order with admin panel, restaurant POS. So, this type of script is very good for the food vendors. Let's look at the de demo. Let's look at the demo. I click on try demo. Please like and subscribe to my channel. So, look at how it looks like. This is the admin panel. I believe this is the front end. Let me click on admin panel. This is the IM link in the description to IM to help you. Install the script so from here I can come to the login page to the login. So now, after purchasing my scripts, I go straight to my cPanel. For my cPanel, I go to my files under my files, I go to my file manager. Then, yes, I go to the subdomain I'll be using for the searching purposes, which is this. Yes, yes, this. I've already uploaded my script. So let's let me start it. Let's start files. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channels. If this video is helpful, easy buy me a coffee link in the description to buy me a coffee. After that, I close it. I've successfully uploaded my script and inserted it to my file manager. So next, let me copy the my subdomain name. Open a new tab and place it there. Then enter. Now so I click on check requirements. All are in order. Check permissions. Then I will go back to my file manager. Then under storage framework, I change it to 775 storage logs. 775 storage frameworks and logs. I'll change them to 775. Seven seven five logs. Seven seven five. Save. Let me go back there to confirm. Yeah, it thinks okay. Bootstrap cache. Up one level. Bootstrap. Cache. I will change it to seven seven five. Save. So I'm going back to my uh, to my website. I refresh it. All I need are so license set off, site set off. App. Uh, let me see. Let me see food. Uh, let's see food API. Food app. I copy it. That's my app you are I place it there. That will be set up. So this time I'm gonna go back to my SC panel to create my database. So this time I'm going to my database. Database is my database is my so let me name my database as I'm going to confirm something. Hmm. I should name it as okay. 
No. To the cited bit database. Use the IAM link in the description to IAM to help you sort your script. So you next I click on go back. So I've successfully created my data business. Let me create my user, database username. User. The next I click on create database. I have successfully created my username. I have successfully created my database. So I click on go back next. I'm going to add my user to my database. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let me show down. This time around, I want to add my user to my database. I will make sure I select the one I just created. Here is it. Here is it. Then I click on add. Yes, I give up privileges. Then I scroll down to make changes. I have successfully added my user to my database. So let me show up to copy my database username. Copy. I go back to my site. So database name. So let me edit this to be my database name. So what I use as my database name. Okay. Next, I click on final setup. So next, this is the login information. I, I click on finish. So I just click on this. So look at this. And the demo I showed you. As you can see, they are the same. For your then, I can click on login if I want to log in. Look at it. As you can see, they are the same. So, for your app development installation, please use the IAM link in the description to IAM to help you install or develop your app. Uh, if this video is helpful, please use the buy me a coffee link in the description to buy me a coffee. Thank you, thank you, thank you.